When I'm shooting for an airplane magazine, my go-to lens is this 16 to 35 because it gives me a lot of latitude in and around the airplane. My name is Jeff Berlin. I'm a photographer and a filmmaker, a Sony artist of imagery, and I'm a pilot. I live in Los Angeles, and I shoot celebrity, fashion, rodeo, and aviation. I've wanted to be a pilot since I was a kid. So years ago, after I shot a catalog for a department store, I took a chunk of change, went to a flight school out here in New Jersey, and said, teach me to fly. Six months later, after flying two to three times a week, I became a pilot. I love when my passions collide. It was really exciting for me when I was able to roll my photography into my aviation career. My career in aviation started actually as a writer, but I always opted to shoot my own stories as opposed to have another photographer shoot them for the magazine. So a good friend of mine is the executive editor of Flying Magazine, and one day she called me and she said, hey, do you want to come fly and take pictures of my plane that just got painted? So I was like, sure, why not? So we hopped into her airplane, flew to Central California, and whenever I know I'm going to be photographing aviation, I always make sure to have with me my 16 to 35 Zeiss lens. Before I started shooting aviation, the 16 to 35 wasn't really ever a focal length I needed. But after I started to shoot aviation, I realized it was a focal length I needed every time. This one lens body combination allows me to shoot everything from a super wide shot to close details. And that's really great when I'm trying to work quickly. Like for this story in particular, the hangar was like this beautiful daylight studio and I wanted to take advantage of that. I wish that this hangar was in Los Angeles because it was such an incredible space. I wanted to capture the ambiance of the hangar with my friend's airplane in it. And it turned out that was the double page opener for the story. The only way I could have captured that photo was with this 16 to 35 lens zoomed all the way out to its widest at 16 millimeter. And what was so great about it is that when I went into post-production to deliver the picture for the magazine, I didn't have to straighten any of the lines in the windows in the hangar. Mm -hmm.